It's um, called The Last Tree on Rapa Nui and uh, it was inspired by a visit that uh, Glenys and I had a couple of years ago to the Easter Island and some of you may realise the Rapa Nui is the, uh, the old name for what we now know as Easter Island. And while we were there we were struck by several things. One was by the small size of the place and a uh, very, very tiny little island in the midst of this vast Pacific Ocean. And uh, the other thing that struck us was, of course, the history of the island. It's a, it's a fascinating history and some of you may be uh, aware of it. And while we were there, I was inspired to uh, write uh, this song, or at least after, after we came back from there, I was inspired to write the song about the history of Easter Island. And uh, the, the, the part of the history that uh, really struck us was the way the, uh, the Polynesians first originated or first came to Easter Island and as their population grew, uh, they started, of course, uh, using some of the resources of the island. Of course, there were very few resources in a, a very small island like that. The main one was uh, the forest of trees that covered the island. And there's a picture of a palm tree in the, uh, in the book, which is actually a picture of the, this large palm tree that dominated the island at that time. But as their population grew, uh, of course, they started cutting down these trees and using them for various things, everything from building to canoes and whatever, mainly to transport these large stone statues that you probably know uh, uh, Easter Island is famous for. And, of course, this couldn't go on sustainably. As the population grew, they cut more and more trees down and so on. And there's nothing new about that. That's happening all around, <coughs> us, uh, uh, all around the world. But the thing that struck us while we were on Easter Island is you can climb any of the little hills around the edge of Easter Island and from almost all of those vantage points, you can see the whole island from, that, from those vantage points. And the thought struck us that they must have known when that last tree was going to be felled. They must have known that tree almost personally and they must have known it was going to fill. But they were in such a circumstance that they felt it was necessary to cut down that last tree. And as, as you listen to the words of the song, think about it not as a story about Easter Island, but think about it as a story about the predicament the world is currently in. We also are using up the resources of a very small planet floating in a large ocean of space, and we also know uh, as the trees are being destroyed as a, as a metaphor for the rest of the, the resources on the planet. So just... Think about it as you listen to the words of the, uh, of the song. And Glenys is going to sing it for you. 